we're actually getting double tap in Black Ops 6 Zombies, just maybe in a bit of a different way. So if we look at our Jackal here, we have a new attachment category called Fire Mods. And in this attachment category, we have Rapid Fire. And this obviously increases the rate of fire on the weapon. And you can find this on most automatic weapons as an attachment. Let me show you how it works. First, let me show you what the fire rate is like on this gun without the Rapid Fire attachment. So this is the Jackal's normal fire rate. And this is the Jackal with the Rapid Fire attachment. Now in editing, I'm going to put these side by side and hopefully you can see the difference there in the fire rate. So this rapid fire attachment is going to be available on most fully automatic weapons. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have it on weapons that probably will need a uh, fire rate boost in zombies, but it still could be good nonetheless. Because if we don't end up getting some sort of perk augment for a fire rate increase or any sort of gobble gum that could help out with it, having an attachment like this could do wonders for some weapons. Even if we do still have an augment like that, this will just stack on top of that. And I've already been really liking this attachment. I've been using the Jackal a lot. I think it's probably one of the better guns in the beta. At least uh, from what I've seen going from lobby to lobby, it seems like a lot of people are using it. And if you guys have seen me play multiplayer at all, you know I'm not the greatest. You know, I I'm not going to be out here dropping nukes or nothing. But when I got this rapid fire attachment unlocked with the Jackal, I actually went on a pretty big streak. I, I went on like a, a 20 kill streak, something like that. And that's a pretty foreign concept for me. I, I don't usually go on high streaks at all, but something's happened to me in this game. And I think a rapid fire attachment just might have started something. The only problem with this attachment is that you unlock it pretty late into leveling up the weapon. I think you get it at like level 33. And if you guys have played the beta so far, the we weapon leveling is very, very slow. I've seen this happen quite a bit in the previous COD betas that I've played that the weapon leveling gets you know, really tedious, really slow, but I I'm, think a lot of people are fine with it, at least during the beta, because everything's brand new. You're not really focusing on weapon levels. Mainly you're, you're trying out a few different guns here and there, but then you find one that clicks and you're like, okay, let me just stick to this and see what I can do with it. But if the weapon levels are like this in the full game, I'm going to be a little upset because it's going to take a while to get all these weapons leveled up. I think it took me maybe two and a half maybe even three hours like i'm just estimating here because i was swapping weapons a little bit when i first started using the jackal and that's a pretty long time to get a weapon fully leveled up at least when the game comes out it has been confirmed that we won't have to level up our weapons like there's no level requirements for unlocking camos you can just go straight into unlocking whatever camo and work on any challenge that you got but it would be pretty unfortunate to not have like the attachments that you're really looking for during the grind so hopefully they they go ahead and switch it out I'm pretty sure, you know, during one of these weekends during the beta, they're going to do something like they've done with each beta where they're going to give everybody, you know, every weapon fully leveled up, no matter what level you are in the beta. That way, everybody has a chance to use every single weapon and try out a bunch of different combinations and maybe get a feel for, uh, you know, what you want to do with the guns by the time the game fully comes out. And for me right now, I went for a lot of speed on this Jackal. I think I have like mainly all speed attachments, whether it's movement speed, reload speed or the rapid fire attachment and then i also just have like a long barrel on this with a suppressor you know just to help out a little bit i i feel like it's been very helpful with uh trying to stay out of multiple engagements at once so if i start shooting at somebody i'm not gonna have somebody come up in third party and i've been having an absolute blast using this i don't know if it's just the jackal and everybody's just gone to this since this is in a default class like one of the the classes you can use before you get create a class or if just smgs in the game in general are good because i started using the c9 a bit and i was having a lot of fun with that as well i think this is just like my kind of game at least this play style because i play very like running gun you know hit my head against the wall and just keep sprinting at you till I get a kill basically like I play very recklessly very aggressively and I feel like the SMGs can really reflect that especially with a lot of the omni movement things going on in this game and we didn't do terrible that game I I've actually been consistently having a positive KD which is absolutely absurd for me hold on let me mog on him real quick bye bye but bye bye and here's the class I have that's basically made all for movement I have all these perks from the same class here so I can get my specialty which actually lets me get a movement speed boost and a health regen boost whenever I get a kill. And this is the build I'm going with. I got the just normal suppressor, the long barrel, ranger foregrip, which actually boosts movement speed, the fast mag, just because I've been already cod reloading all the time. So it's 
probably pretty nice on there and it doesn't really have any effect on our movement speed and just a side note i feel like a lot of attachments in this game really don't have any cons like there's really not a downside to using a lot of these and then obviously our last attachment here is the rapid fire but now i'm gonna work on the c9 smg and these are the attachments i got on it now i'm still working towards getting that rapid fire attachment but we got like 10 levels to go and i don't really have any methods for leveling up fast like i said it feels like the weapon levels are just really slow in this right now for whatever reason but the assassin perk that i have on puts a little like crosshair on uh, some enemies on the mini map and if i end up getting that kill i'll get a little bonus on top of if I like stim while I'm getting a kill, I get a little extra XP for that as well. And I've been trying to play the objective as much as I can to get extra XP on that. And then obviously headshots help. But even with all that, I've been dropping like some pretty high kill games, capturing every point I got, going for every hard point. And it's still taking me a bit to get this leveled up. Of course, as I'm saying, and I get a level, game's always trying to prove me wrong. But something ain't right with these weapon levels. I'm telling you right now. And also, I've been talking a lot about zombies. I feel like I should address this. I put out a video on Liberty Falls, and I feel like uh, the sarcasm just flew straight over a lot of people's heads. Because I just saw a lot of people complaining after COD Next about uh, Liberty Falls. And, you know, there is some fair criticism out there. Don't get me wrong. I'm all down for, like, fair criticism. And I have my own criticisms about Liberty Falls. But I just saw a lot of people complaining about a whole lot of nothing, where it was just a lot of whining to whine. And in that video was more me kind of parroting them and, and uh, making fun of the people that are just crying over a whole lot of nothing. So I'm sorry if I uh, didn't make it clear enough that I was uh, trying to like take the piss out of uh, a lot of the zombies community. I, I thought maybe playing Roblox within the first few seconds of the video and uh, hopping on like come of the dead at the end of the video would have would have done it but i can see if you just watched the intro and didn't catch the sarcasm there you probably didn't watch that much longer but i just want to say it for the record that i am still hyped for bo6 zombies i will be playing bo6 zombies whether it's liberty falls or it's terminus island i'm gonna be playing them both i'm gonna be grinding the camos on every mode i'm gonna be trying to go for the easter eggs on both maps like I i'm probably hopping on zombies first frame this game is live but i won't lie probably gonna be on terminus to start because people definitely aren't wrong i feel like it does lack a little bit of atmosphere at least from the stuff that we've seen but it was a very limited build of liberty falls they're obviously not gonna have like any easter eggs enabled they're not gonna show you anything from the story uh, i'm pretty sure big parts of the map were blocked off like we just gotta wait and see with the map and i i do want to point out that it does take place like basically at the same time as terminus and it's basically like hours if not like a day at maximum out from like when the outbreak starts so i see a lot of people saying like the city doesn't look like run down enough or like zombies have taken it over but we're, we're like very new into the outbreak for that area like it had just started so maybe like the further we get in and if we get into like rick Toffin's like mansion or like the maze or whatever he was at in the in the trailer from the map it's probably gonna look a little bit more run down or a little more zombified at least hopefully and maybe there's gonna be a lot more like dark aether elements that we're not seeing like maybe the the pack a punch machine will be a bit harder to get to and not just like you know you walk through a portal or something i don't know i just don't want to go to bat for the map too hard because only like 215 people have played it and we haven't even seen close to the the final thing so there still could be changes with it And there's probably a lot that we're not seeing. But I still got high hopes. I, I was a pretty big fan of Cold War. I don't doubt that I'll, I'll like the 06. But, you know, jury's still out. Game ain't out. But I will say, from what I've played in this multiplayer beta, I'm having a lot of fun. From just, like, the day that it's been out, right now it is about, like, 7 a.m. The day after it came out. And it came out, like, noon yesterday. And I probably played about like 14 hours. I streamed for a bit, hopped off, and then I hopped on to play with some friends and the time literally just like evaporated. We were just messing around. I was trying to get my weapon leveled up so I could test out that rapid fire attachment. And then all of a sudden I got it, you know, fully leveled up. I'm working on other guns and it's, it's like 6 a.m. I'm like, oh shit, I have not done anything besides play this game. And I haven't sat and just played multiplayer like that in a long time. And I have no idea how I'm gonna play another cod that doesn't have omni movement because this is just so much fun 
it just feels so smooth. Like after the first few games of, you know, getting my ass beat, getting slapped around, I mean, which is still somewhat happening, but just messing around with the mechanic, I feel a lot more comfortable with it. And I feel like I've been doing a lot better. My gameplay right now ain't showing it. Because whenever I start yapping is when I, I stop playing decent. But I got, the, I got the clips. I got the footage to prove it that I was actually going off. I looked like a, a real player. But I really don't have like many complaints about the beta. Obviously, we only have, you know, three maps in the game currently. And it's only the core mosh pit. So we can't even really pick any modes. You just hop in, you get what you get. And I'm still having a lot of fun. Obviously, they're going to be adding in more modes and more maps as like the beta weekends continue. But I really don't have many complaints about this game. One is what I've already mentioned with the weapon levels. Feels like you level up your weapons extremely slow. And another one, I, I have experienced a crash. I, I, I have crashed once. I, I thought we might have gotten away from it, but it is on the same launcher still. You know, Call of Duty HQ. So hopefully it's just not as frequent as it is in Modern Warfare Zombies. Because then we're going to have a problem. But it has only been one crash in like 14 hours of playing, which is... Not that bad for what COD has been recently, at least for me, at least for my luck. And I know it wasn't just me because when I was streaming, that's when I, I had the crash and everybody in my lobby crashed at the same time. Another thing I'm not too fond, fond of is the main menu music. I don't know what it is. I just don't like the multiplayer theme that much. I don't know. That's uh, not that big of an issue though, because I can just turn music off. I really don't like it, but I already like the zombies music and I don't want to turn it off and forget about it and not listen to the zombies music when I'm in that menu. So I'll just deal with it. I'll, I'll soldier through. And then while we're on the topic of the main menu, I like that they brought back the moving menus with like, you know, your character, your operator walking on screen, but the background of it ain't the greatest at the moment. I'm sure they're saving like the cooler looking backgrounds and all that when the game actually comes out and it'll probably change from season to season like it did in Cold War. I really hope we have like some really cool looking ones. Like I saw someone suggest like the operator walking through the Dark Aether, which I think would look sweet, but it's probably just going to start out with like, you know, Terminus or Liberty Falls or something similar to that. But that's that's really not any big issue at all. Like the gameplay on this just feels amazing. And I also saw some pretty interesting leaks for a few game modes that might be coming to zombies. And again, these are leaks, so they are not confirmed, not guaranteed to happen. Just, you know, something to, to maybe bite on a little bit, maybe chew on. But from the leakers who have been pretty reputable in the past, uh, they said that there might be a classic zombie mode coming. So for all the people that were freaking out about Liberty Falls, we might actually be getting a zombie mode similar to some of the older games. Don't know exactly what they mean by classic mode, but maybe it means starting with like a pistol and maybe even a different point system. Like we saw from before where like anytime you hit a zombie, you're gonna get 10 points, something like that. I don't know. But we also, or the leaker also put out that there perhaps could be a grief mode coming back. And we haven't seen that since BO2, I don't think. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I don't know why they haven't done it sooner, especially them adding in like certain other modes like cranked into zombies. I feel like didn't really fit very well. I don't know a whole lot of people that played it, but it does seem like from uh, like the COD podcast they did, uh, a little bit after COD Next ended. They talked a little bit about having some Halloween type modes being put in like at launch as like alternate modes because the game is releasing pretty close to Halloween. And if you guys played Cold War, you probably remember the Halloween event where like the zombies got jack-o'-lantern heads and you know, you, you kill them and they'll drop like chalices and things like that. Don't know if it's going to exactly be like that. I'm sure they won't want to try to do something as crazy as that right off the bat and get players used to a, a mode like that instead of just playing the mode how it is but we could be getting something similar to it and i am so down for it that was one of like my favorite modes in cold war so if it's anything close to it i will be happy with it especially since we didn't even get it last year and the last time that we got the halloween event in cold war it was cut short for the mw2 campaign uh early access which didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but it's something they did. And one last thing, in case you haven't heard, they did confirm that we are getting a third Zombies map. So not Terminus and not Liberty Falls. It's going to be a third DLC map. And we'll be getting it before the end of the year. So if you don't like Terminus, you don't like Liberty Falls, maybe this uh, third DLC map will do something for you. But that's already like 
three maps within a year in I think in Cold War we had D Machina and then we didn't get Firebase E till like February the next year and then after that it took so long for Mauer and then a month after Mauer we got Forsaken so we're already like almost at like Cold War's map count within the first year of the game's launch and if the game plays anything like Cold War like like they've been saying like it's similar to Cold War maybe a bit more difficult I feel like I'm gonna have a good time playing it and I just want to reiterate if you saw that Liberty Falls video I did it was it was satire i was fucking around but now i'm fucking around a little bit too much here in multiplayer so i'm about to lock in and uh try to get as many kills as i can because we are slacking Ooh, barely that was almost a case of the hit a shot challenge one of the hardest challenges in the game go oh you would have been fucked buddy 41 and 26 that ain't bad but i guess final thoughts on the beta day one it is a lot of fun i definitely recommend you play it if you can get your hands on the beta if not maybe just wait for a free weekend if you're still like undecided on whether or not you're gonna get bo6 but this is the most fun i've had playing multiplayer in a long time and i can't wait to do all the camo grinds for like multiplayer zombies and warzone but that's all i got for you guys today thank you for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later